after three days of storms, the sea is calm, the sun is out, and Gargoyle literally looks like she's floating in the clouds. Time to bring home the drone, pull up the anchor, and do some gunk hole in here in Bocas del Toro. Our next stop, Gallego K. All systems go. All systems are go. Alright. We're going. Far. Laundry day because we're making water. Gotta get the old washing machine out. Oh, you're not that old. Oh, you funny man. Gallego K is approximately 9 nautical miles southeast from Isla Colon and is one of many mangrove islands that provide great protection in the archipelago. We're going to anchor there first and then do some exploring to find other spots for gargoyle over the next few days. like much because you see the mangroves but there's actually big reefs all on either side of us and we've got a really deep cut between them so I have to go up here a bit further to where we pick up the mangroves on the starboard side and then I make an 80 degree turn to port and I'm trying to match up what's in this book because this is uh, the Navionics it's um, uncharted so we don't know there's a reef right in front of us here now a reef right here and we're going up kind of where that house is way way in the distance so we're gonna go around and tuck in and this should be a great spot to just hide for a couple more days or who knows how long gorgeous day today absolutely beautiful anchor up in there with all these little mangrove islands and then with the curvature of the island here we should have some great protection and with all these reefs we should have some exciting things to watch and look at you're hooked all right, our new home for at least another couple days. Oh, it's cold. It's cold. It's probably 75 degrees. Oh. Nice little acreage. Let's see what it looks like underneath. Let's see anything. Adventure. 
Cat. Okay, we are still here at Galleo K. Gallardo? Galleo? Sure, Galleo. Galleo K? I have no idea. I actually really love this anchorage, except for one thing, which we'll talk about later. But uh, our packages from Amazon are here, so we're going for a little road trip. You ready, Captain? I'm ready. Hopefully we got enough gas and we don't have to row back. Panama has a yacht in transit importation law, which means we can bring items in duty and tax free. We've definitely been taking an opportunity on this to stock up on much needed items for Gargoyle and a few toys for the crew. You too. Ciao, ciao. All right. We have our paddle board. Kevin's got his packages. Now we just need to go all the way home. Okay. long and painful trip. How long was that? Like an hour? Oh, I don't know, but my ass hurts. <laughs> oh, very bumpy. Well, 10 miles, 15 nautical miles, probably 10 to 15. Yeah, it's about an hour. Yeah. Bombing around. Someone's got a sore but Oh man, I do. Made it back with all of our treasures, including kitty treats. She must know. She must know that we got them treats because she's awake and she's in the cockpit. Sam, what's it's this? just that box oh. does not weigh any Come on. pounds. Come on! Don't be lazy. There you go. Hey, bud. Can you get one too. There you go. Bud, come on. You can see gargoyle behind me. We are just gonna paddle over to a cove that is just a little bit um, south of us because the winds are gonna be picking up from the northwest and we don't have great uh, protection where we are right now. There's Mr. Nash and his paddle board and our cove is just right around the tip there. Coral here is absolutely spectacular. <laughs> by thousands and thousands of minnows. Put some depths here. I got 30 feet over here. We yeah. scoped it out and looks like we can actually drop the anchor right in the middle. So we pretty much have like almost surrounding wind protection, which is really nice. Oh my God, it's so clear. And thousands of fish, tiny little minnows everywhere. Perfect spot for us to move gargoyle to. The tarantulas are everywhere. <laughs> and the sharks surround this paddle board. Okay, so we just went for a really nice paddle board. We did. And I noticed this on our boat. You see what this is? This is our first snake. Maybe just take the line and throw it overboard. Like take the whole line and throw it overboard. <laughs> I don't know. That's what you want to undo it. I mean, I can throw the line overboard. But is he wrapped around it enough it'll pull him out? I don't know. Oh yeah. 
Oh, oh, almost got him off. Let's just take the boat. No, take the line, the boat hook, yeah. And then push the line over. Man, he doesn't want to give it. Oh, don't, because he'll. Shh. Oh, okay. Now, where is he? He's gone. Is he on the rope anymore? Nope. There he goes. See him? Oh, there he goes. You just keep on going, buddy. So, we are been in an anchorage here for a couple of weeks, and of course our speedo doesn't work. So I was going to show you why your speedo doesn't work when you've been at anchor. So let's go check it out. Let's go into the boat. Water quality is not the best in this murky spot, but not bad either. There's the sexy co-captain. Yeah, so you can see why we don't have any speed over water. And also the other is our intake for our uh, water maker. So I'm gonna go down with a brush and I'm gonna scrub it off. Big squall going through right now. Our wind is picked up. And the lightning picks up too, but everything is soaked. It was a long morning as we had a really good blow. Uh, I think we saw gusts on the chart plotter probably to 30 knots this morning. We've got a lot of fetch from where the wind actually came from, as you can see when I flip this around out here and we were getting all of it coming in here now we do have a good anchor set but as we scouted out in anchorage uh, yesterday we're going to scoot around into there because we should have done it yesterday we talked about it but we didn't pull the trigger today we are <music> see on the chart we're actually kind of creeping between these two reefs with a reef right ahead of us all three of these are shallow enough we would ground for sure and I can visually see them out either side I just don't think without a filter a polarizer on the camera we'll be able to see them but uh, very shallow but good depth as you can see we're at 66 feet here and you know a couple bolt lengths to either side we'd be on the ground so makes for uh, Thanks for a fun little passage out. Good to see that yesterday's uh, cleaning down below the boat actually works. As you can see, I now have speed over water. But the good news is, from the wind direction, our girl is in the middle, and uh, we're not going to see much fetch here. We dragged a little bit when we dropped the anchor, so we'll just watch it for the next couple of hours, and if we keep dragging, then we'll find a different spot to go. But so far, so good. Good morning. It is a beautiful morning. We love our little cove, except now the wind has died down. There's lots of bugs. But we are out for a paddleboard this morning, just doing some exploring because uh, it's so beautiful. It's a really nice little breeze, and uh, yeah, you couldn't ask for a better morning. Captain's giving her up here. 
become a natural paddle boarder. cooking the hot one today morning task because it rained really hard last night Whew. it is hot today in Bocas del Toro we are in Cayo Gallaro and we have been here overnight because of the storms last night this is a great little anchorage and kind of caps as I show you our our anchorage and what we've got around us here Little entrance facing to the southeast. And then we're completely surrounded by this little island that Carla calls Tuning Fork Island because it's exactly what it looks like. And it is perfect when it's storming. Um, we've been out for a month, so it's time to go back in and resupply. So we're gonna head into Red Frog Marina now, stop for fuel at the fuel dock on the way in, and then reprovision and do some much needed repair work to the boat. Every day it seems like it's something new. Uh, today our water gauge isn't reading, so we don't know how much fresh water we have. <laughs> so it's always something, and you can't call the man or the woman out here when you're at anchor. So in we go to the dock, and we'll put Carla to work.